Hello everyone, this is Ron with the 10th episode of my full playthrough of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, I'm actually heading towards the end of this game, believe it or not. I may actually be able to finish it this episode. If not this episode, then definitely next episode. I'm going to take a quick look at my map. I left off in the Forbidden Library. Um, I'm going to continue with my exploration of that. And just continue with working through it clear this out. Um, I believe I've got pretty much this, the reverse outer wall, and, um, and the reverse keep, and that's pretty much it, I do believe. I don't think I'm really missing anything else. I got most of the other ones. So I will clear these areas out, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Now, this area, um, if you've been watching, you've you've no doubt heard me talk about the Chisigrin. Um, this area is typically where you get it, I do believe. Um, I think the lion drops it, um, but it's a rare drop. I'm not going to be necessarily trying to get it just to show it off, because the other card sword works just fine. And uh, actually, really, really does plenty of damage and is very fast. So if it drops, great. If it doesn't, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Talk about these annoying tin men. Then, uh, probably not going to be talking too much because it is just me and, and I'm heading towards the end, so only a few areas. Probably talk some more when I get to the actual. And boss. Um, to talk a little bit more about like familiars in that, um, which I talked about some last time. There is one familiar I haven't really talked about a whole lot. That's the Sword Brothers familiar. Um, I'm probably not going to get that one. I always I always forget how to actually go about getting that one. I have gotten it. Um, it's a neat little thing. It's like this floating sword that follows you around and um, and attacks guys, and after it levels up a bunch, you can actually use it as a weapon. And uh, that weapon, or that sword when fully leveled up uh, and used as a weapon, is actually considered to be the most damaging weapon in the game. However, it's not the fastest. Let's see, it's Starlight. It's, it's like some weird thing. It increases the amount of damage that the, yeah, the cross... Oh jeez, I'm still wearing the Ring of Ares. Let's, let's get that off, which is going to lower my damage, but it means I won't be taking as much damage when I do get hit. Ring of Aries is really only useful, as I've shown in a couple situations, um, to kind of help speed things up when you know what you're doing. Hmm, I had the music cut out. I certainly didn't tell it to. Um, that would be very strange if the game is going to break on me again. But, um, if it does, I'll deal with it, I guess. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There isn't a boss. The, I went through the room where the boss would be, and nothing happened. Strange. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I will head back here and save. Finish my exploration of this place, and then I'll head out and finish the reverse outer wall, as well as uh, the keep, and uh, then probably see about finishing it up. I may be able to do that this episode, which would be... Oh, jeez, I missed a room. Yeah, that's what happens when you think you do something and you really didn't. Now I have to waste time and go back. I don't, that's what happens when you're playing a game and talking about it at the same time. It can some You sometimes kind of forget what you're doing or just aren't paying attention like you should. Neutron Bomb, that's like an item that damages all the enemies on the screen. Battle, I believe I've already gotten this sword. Oh, power increases with gameplay, like, that's this weapon that, like, um, I think it's the more time you spend in a game, the more powerful it becomes. But, like, so it, it's, it's kind of like, I'm not sure if there's a cap on it or something, but, um, that's like an in theory sort of thing, I think, because like the amount of time you 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 have to play an individual game for it to actually become the most powerful 
something ridiculous and it's and considering the fact that you can beat this game in about 10 to 12 hours fairly fairly comfortably not even trying to speed run it or anything or rush through it um it's kind of dumb um and to to go back to like weapons that gain in power there's actually a sword it was called the masamune um that um that grows in power the more enemies it kills uh, but you have to kill a ton of enemies for it to gain attack power. And um, I remember reading like there was like a guide I read somewhere once that kind of showed how to like level it up and like there's like, there like this thing you can do where um, in the area of the game where the mermen spawn and they spawn continuously. If you get in this one spot and like and, and just attack, 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 um, you, you'll be able to kill a ton of them and get the weapon really powerful. And like this guide was like, oh, you know, like gotta get some like rubber bands or whatever and set up your controller so that. So that uh, it's just constantly swinging while you're here, and uh, eventually, like, and then like leave it overnight. When you come back, the sword will be, will be super powerful. And it was just like, really, all that? It's like, it's, like seems kind of dumb. But that's just a couple of the uh, weapons I like that generally. It's usually just not worth, especially if you're just trying to progress through the game. Those lions are just like such a weird, like, they're called lions, but they have like a lion head, like it's so weird. Like, the library is full of just these strange enemies, like I said earlier, so, yeah, that's just me. It'd be cool if one of them drops something. Save me some time and effort, but oh well. Oh jeez. Okay, I'll just do that. Yeah, see, I'm kinda I'm kinda to a point in this game where most of the enemies are actually fairly easy for me to kill. So at this point it's just kind of finishing up exploration and getting some of the weirder things. Um, like I said, I'm almost kind of done with this. Um, I'm just gonna finish this. I've already cleared. I already cleared the boss for this, um, as we saw last episode when I was ending that when I was wrapping that up. So I'm just gonna finish finish up with hitting some of the areas in here. Some of the rooms and whatnot, and then um, head and do the keep. And then once I finish that boss, I can then head back to the clock tower and fight Dracula. Um, I don't know if I'll actually get to the point where I fight Dracula, but I most certainly should be ready to. I mean, I just cleared the library, and I'm coming up on nine minutes into this episode, just finished playing that. The outer wall doesn't have a boss either, so I'm not going to go nuts about that. Um, and the keep is going to be pretty short overall, so. And then once I do that, I can just do some quick teleportation and get to where I need to go. And then I'll uh, head and fight Dracula. Ah yes, the Shotel. I'm just going to show it because it looks cool. It's got this like curved blade to it. Let's see if I can. Yeah, uh, try, I'm trying to I'm trying to stop it when it's out. But see if you look, see it's curved. It does look pretty cool, and it can do that, which is a neat little attack. But you ha you have to put in, like a special like combo to do it. So not usually worth it. Uh, do not want to have to deal with those other skeletons. They will hurt me. Ooh, more hearts. After using them all in those werewolves in the reverse coliseum because I was very lazy. Oh well. 
As you notice, as you're gonna notice here shortly, there actually is not like a telescope here um, because the the ferryman is actually not present here. So, wanna keep the diamonds? Now with this game, um, I believe I talked about like doing like speed runs and like glitching it up and stuff. Um, I've never really done a like a speed run of this game, at least at least as Alucard. Uh, oh no, I know I talked about using like the code words and stuff, and I believe I briefly mentioned playing as Richter. Um, I haven't actually ever um, beaten the reverse castle as Richter. Although one time when I was playing as Richter, I actually. Um, I decided to try and do it, and uh, I and because it's so different, it's much more like classic Castlevania when you're playing as Richter, and um, and since and since there isn't the RPG elements, and it's just really more about just heading to the end boss. Um, I got through the regular castle in like 15 minutes or something, something ridiculously fast, and um, and, th and then I had the reverse castle and decided to to not really go any farther. Um, but I guess I guess that would kind of be considered like sort of uh, my speed run sort of thing there. But uh, in terms of doing it with Alucard, I've never done it. Um, I would imagine if you knew what you were doing, um, you could probably get this game done, this entire game done, probably I'd say two or three hours if you really knew what you were doing, and that would be skipping over a lot of stuff and just doing exactly what you needed. Um, However, in the reverse castle, uh, much more ex exploration is required in order to finish it. You have to get those five relics that, that say of Vlad after them, because um, if you don't, you can't you can't fight Dracula. Uh, but it kind of depends. The game, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the game does have multiple endings based on whether or not you see the orb controlling Richter and whether or not you kill Richter. Um, I guess in theory. If you were to just go straight to the end of the first castle and kill Richter without getting the holy glasses, um, that would be one of the endings, and I put that in quotes, kind of, or, or one of the ways to end the game, or beat, uh, I'll say put beat in quotes. And you could probably do that in maybe under an hour, but that really wouldn't feel too genuine because you wouldn't be seeing the whole game. You would be just trying to end it as quickly as possible, which kind of just seems to kind of defeat the purpose of having a speed run. But I don't know. I'm probably going to have to look and see if I can find some and uh, and, see, and see exactly what people do. And you see at this point they really start to kind of recycle the music, which is really too bad because um, because in the regular castle, each area has has its own um, has its own like really unique and interesting like soundtrack. And here, it's like they have a few good ones, and they just kind of recycle them over and over, which is really too bad. I think it would have been neat if they had actually luminous. That's another sword. Sword forged by elves. Ah, where'd this guy come from? Yeah, nice when you can uh, just do that. checking the map a lot just because I'm trying to more or less fully explore this area for my walk armor and uh, so I just want to make sure I do that if it's pretty easy it doesn't take a lot extra time and contributes to me having higher defense oh that's the dragon helm you recall I got I had that was something that I had at the beginning of the game um, I think I'm actually going to put that on I'm getting to the point where I tend to deal most of my damage with my sword and whatnot, so um, rather than trying to use my spells, 
so it's just a little bit easier. And the Dragon Helmet has really good defense, as well as as well as help with your attack some. Uh, the circlets help with your intelligence. It depends. I guess it depends on your playstyle. I mean, the spell it's a very, the spells are a limited selection, and it's really just more kind of like a backup. Although, I suppose if you knew what you were doing, you kind of could sort of um, do like sort of like focus on intelligence and um, and basically like, focus on using spells and certain certain forms. I do believe the poisonous mist form that you have actually. Deals damage based on your intelligence. Now, if you remember, now if you remember, in this part there was a little sort of like puzzle thing you could do to open a special area. It's a little bit easier now. Because I don't have to fight a bunch of guys while I'm because I can uh, I can damage guys while I'm while I am uh, getting some defense to help. And those and those cloaked knights, those floating knights, are called cloaked knights. Um, the weapon they wield, the flamberge, you can actually. I think I may have accidentally gone past it when I was talking. They, they can drop their phone verge. I gotta do this. Those guys are just a gigantic pain, so I'm very good at dealing with them. Yeah, I think I accidentally hit the thing farther than I needed to, which means, which means I now have to do this. This is a bit of a pain. There we go. my diamonds. Oh, well. No, I actually, I'll take the holy water over the powder on a day. The holy water, I can at least find some use for when needed. Some more money that I don't need. Another cloak knight. This is weird because uh, this guy respawns if you go to like the different edges of this room. He respawns, which is like the only place in the game that, that particular enemy does that. Um, if you're trying to get the flame bird, it can be uh, a cheap little way to get it, just because you can force him to spawn and therefore drop in and you know, drop it. I'm not really interested in it, so I will just leave. I will just get those and leave, like I just did. I'll head back, and the uh, and the secret room should be open. I do believe there's only three of these areas here, or right, with these puzzles. I do not really feel like dealing with these guys. So I am just going to float over to this room. And there's just some items here: the sunstone. Um, if you remember the moonstone, uh, it the moonstone uh, improves your improves your stats after sunset. The sunstone after sunrise. If you have both of them equipped, essentially, it's like having sort of like a plus five to everything always, um, and uh, it's kind of nice. It's typically what I do, um, although depending on the situation, I sometimes swap out different things. Um, 
do not really feel like dealing with these guys, so. Alright, back here. Yeah, these bomb nights in here are weird because uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of spaces where they are, they don't have the room to actually throw their bombs at the gym. So it's kind of weird. No, I'll keep it that way. Well, I mean, you know, whatever. They die, so. And they just, they really come across as just more annoying than anything. Okay, and there we go. When I was younger, I remember like like this part, like this area. I would always get confused, and uh, it hasn't been like that for years. Like, but I never understood why that would confuse me. Oh, the moon rod. This, I'm not, I don't think this is actually better than what I have. Oh no. It just it swings, but it can do this. It's a it's a neat attack. It's nothing too special. It just looks cool more than anything. But, okay, back to doing this. We're going to clear this boss, and then I think I will be ready to go take on Dracula. Which will be pretty cool. And I should have plenty of time to finish it. I would imagine the fight with Dracula, while it's a cool, while it's a cool fight, it's nothing too fancy in terms of what you need to do and how to finish it. So, yeah. I don't really feel like trying on this fight. And what this guy does is he like flaps his wings and like creates these like these wind things. If you just stand in the right spot. He can't really do it. Oh, there we go, see if he did it to me. I beat him. The fight was over very, very quickly. I got the Ring of Vlad, which is the last of these relics that I need. It gives me plus 10 intelligence. Now you'll see here I'm missing one relic. That's the sword card for the Sword Brothers Familiar. I already talked about that. But at this point, I'm pretty much ready to actually go and fight Dracula. I've got pretty much everything explored. Um, so let's go and do that. And basically, I'm just going to head up. I'm just going to head up to this teleporter here, and uh, go to the reverse Alrox quarters. I think I may be... I don't, I don't know exactly how many it's going to be, I'll have to check. But it's hard to notice it off the top of my head. Oh, huh. next one, cool. So yeah, I'll just head back down here. That was actually kinda cool. I like jumped off the thing and threw that and threw the guy. But anyway, empty that room. He's dead. And then I was actually watching uh, something about Castlevania just before doing this episode. And a lot of the enemies in this game actually do come from enemies in the other Castlevanias, like Dracula X, which is his, which his game is a sequel to. And, um, of course a lot of the enemies are some Dracula tend to sort of repeat. Oh. 
see, here we go. This happened because I have all five relics. So it's doing its thing. Just a moment. There's this heart refresh. It gives you full hearts. Um. And I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna head into the actual final boss area. Just uh, two bosses right back to back. And uh, once that finishes, I'll be done. Should have plenty of time to get it done. Probably end this episode early. So we head up. Through the elevator, and you would have to go through this elevator too. And it goes to this music. That's very oppressive and creepy music. And then this room is actually right side up here. You so there's this guy. Well I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who is controlling Belmont? Yes. I am the dark priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. Don't know why, why he calls himself Shaft. Belmont lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But... If two vampire hunters were to fight each other. But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat. By making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. Oh yeah, poisonous mist doesn't work against him. However, can you still do that? And mist still makes this very easy. Okay. Kill him. No! You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But, but my goal is achieved. Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> he dies. Blue fire. Then that eye opens. Oh no. Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been see, there is. I'm a throne. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget weird. such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still well, I guess, uttering eh, the maybe same funny, nonsense. Whatever. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! Oh, turns out he's this big... This big thing... Oh, jeez. And this fight is really just, you just kind of hack away at him until he dies. Oh, 
And then he occasionally does this. Oh, so do soul steal on him and only five, so it's not that big of a deal. I get too worried, I can always just do that. Overall, I find this fight to just be kind of strange. Using elixir. Where did I put those? Maybe just a couple high potions. really just more kind of you eventually wear him down. So that I can just full heal myself. One left. And I'm just basically gonna wait. So if he decides to go into the bathroom, and then I'll use it so that he can't hurt me. Now I go back to my Alucard sword. <laughs> then I just basically hack away at this. Eventually he's going to die. Like right now. Go back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. That's a cool shot though with the sword. Uh, how? 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 And boss be in time to watch the ending. So defeated. You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Uh, uh, See, it all comes down to love. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. But actually, I thought that's kind of interesting. They actually had what, Dracula, what were like, like, quote the, like, quote the Bible like she that. She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. That he just dies. And the castle crumbles, and you have your ending. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been now, strangely enough. 
This cape is billowing. But you must I don't know if Richter's and Maria's stuff is doing anything. The only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. It would be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. It's all right. Go after him. Yeah, she decides to go after him. That's actually like the best, best ending that we're getting here. Thank you, um, If we had been on PlayStation, I would not have gotten that ending. I would have gotten a different one. Slightly different one where uh, Maria decides to not chase after him. Um, but that is the end of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, we're up, uh, ten episodes. We got the credits here. Uh, we'll let these roll. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, greatly appreciate it. Uh, game went pretty smoothly, except for that one technical hiccup. So, um, if anyone who's watched this for some reason has not played this this amazing game, um, I would certainly suggest doing so. Um, it is a great, great game. Um, lots of fun. Uh, even today, um, this is probably probably like my 20th time beating it or something like that. Um, I beat this game almost. Oh wow. Sorry. There's an error. They spelled programmers wrong. But anyway. <laughs> um, but I've beaten this game tons and tons of times. Um, and uh, it's always fun. It's always fun to break this game out and start playing it again. Never gets old for me. Um, soundtrack's great. It, it, it looks great. I mean, it still looks great. Even though I had the enhanced graphics on, because it's the Xbox Live port, um, they really didn't change all that much. Um, if I had turned it off, you probably wouldn't have really even noticed. Um, that's, that's how good the graphics actually are, is that it actually stacks up and looks good even today. Um, and it has all these throwbacks and everything. So yeah, to sum that up, basically, you need to play it. Um, if you haven't for some reason, you really should. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the credits. Back to the title screen. So uh, to uh, the people who've stuck it out this far, uh, thank you very much. Um, regular videos are going to be resuming uh, shortly after this last one comes up. Um, I just want to do this as a bit of a special. So definitely stay tuned. There's still more coming. Uh, I may even be uh, doing some more full playthroughs depending upon uh, how this one turns out. So so final farewell. Uh, final farewell. Uh, thank you very much once again, especially those who've stuck it out. Uh, including that ridiculous hour and a half long uh, episode involving that one boss fight. Uh, I truly appreciate it, really do. Um, and then the usual plugs, um, like the video, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, all that great stuff in the, in the description. So, um, yep, I will see you on a normal episode. So thank you very much once again.